Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 28th and the 29th, so Friday, Saturday. Um, this is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up for the 28th and the 29th of September. Daily vibes. What's going on for today? What do we need to know? Page of Cups reversed. <laughs> the Devil. The Devil. Six of Swords. Somebody could be on a journey away from something that is toxic. Perhaps, perhaps, closing themselves off emotionally. Sailing away. Sailing away. King of Cups reversed. Interesting. Okay. So. Ten of Cups upright. Six of Wands upright. Queen of Wands upright. Justice. Woo. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Justice is being served because somebody ha is sailing away. Finalizing. Making it final. I love it. I love it. Knight of Swords reversed. And the Death reversed. Okay. Now, and on the bottom, we have the Seven of Wands. This is defending yourself. Doing what's right for you. Protecting yourself. We're going to make sure that this is focused. That damn light. i got to shut that light off. Okay, so, now keep in mind that these readings, they don't always resonate on the day. For me, it's been days or even a week later, and this reading may not be for you. The readings are for who needs it the most, okay? That's the way it goes. So use your common sense. If you're confused by the reading, if you're confused, then the reading's not for you. It should fit easily. If it doesn't fit easily, don't try to make it fit. It's not meant for you. So it appears that we are dealing, we have a, we have a man here. Okay. We have a man and this man in the situation has shut down emotionally, shut right down, shut right down emotionally, not offering any love, withdrawn, um, detached from the situation so i think there is a man that is in the in the mix whether you're the man watching this or this is a, the woman is you know this is the man that you're you're asking about we have a male in this in this picture that is closed off emotionally okay and it feels as though there has been some sort of manipulation here with that devil card. There's been some manipulation. There's been some lies. There's been some, um, well, it almost looks like a fatal attraction. Okay. There's been like a fatal attraction that had no substance. Okay. There might've been some passion. There might've been some sort of karmic tie to this man between a man and a woman, because we have a man and a woman here. There may have been a karmic tie, but it feels as though somebody has decided to cut that tie and move on. Um, the tie is being cut. Somebody has regained their focus and their concentration 
and their power and their strength and their courage and their confidence to head out of this situation, to head in a new direction. Self-respect, self-worth, self-confidence, that's what I see. I feel like the woman in this situation has gained the confidence that she needs to finalize this contract and finally move on. Whoever this man is was stealing their energy for way too long. Stealing their energy, untrustworthy, telling lies, not heading in their direction, not putting in any effort. And the woman has been holding on. The woman has been holding on. And it's getting old. So it appears to me that somebody is or has found the confidence and the strength within them to sail away from this detached individual. And it can go vice versa, male, female, whatever. We have somebody that is sailing to a happier, happier spot after they have held on to a dead end situation for too long. Hurting while they were holding on. This person, it was like they were uh, uh, using emotional blackmail to keep you stuck. You know, an emotional blackmail is withholding love, withholding love, withholding communication. That is emotional. That's emotional. That's emotional hurt blackmail. It is. There is a person in this dynamic that is not communicating. They are not coming forward. And it's hurting another person in a very, very big way. And whoever the other person is, I feel like this person is finding the confidence to hold their head up high and finally, finally move on. I mean, that is what this is. It's time for me to deal with this karmic situation and do the right thing for me and face my demons. That's what this is. No longer in denial. I am not going to deny the truth of this situation. I feel as though, you know, whoever you have been holding on to, okay, because the death reverse is holding on to something that is going nowhere, they're, they're emotionally shut down. They are. They're emotionally detached from the situation. Could be the, this is a completion. It's a ten of cups. It's a completion of a relationship. It is. So that you can find your true happiness. It's a completion. So it appears to me that somebody has been holding on to a relationship that was happy at one time. Now it's gotten old because you're not getting the communication, the, the love that you desire. And it feels as though you are taking a stand. And ready to ready to get on a new ship, okay? Sail away, sail away. I mean, I'm ready to get on that new boat and focus on my future. I feel as though somebody has been preparing for this moment. Preparing for the moment that they were going to board. And now there's a new opportunity. The Four of Cups reversed. I'm walking away from this discontent, unhappy situation in the search for something more. Taking back my power and I'm taking that next step. See the ships? There's ships everywhere. We have the ship here. We have the, sh the boat here. And the boat's behind here. It's like, I'm getting on that new boat. 
I'm getting on the boat. It looks to me like she's about ready to put this one down. She's looking at it. She's like, you know, I don't, I don't need this anymore. I don't. I really, I really don't need to hang on to this one anymore. It's time for me to stop juggling. Stop going back and forth. And choose the high. Choose the high road. I mean, she is right there. She is right at the edge. And the boats are here. I'm here. And there's a, with the Four of Cups reversed, there's an opportunity. It's like, I'm ready for this new opportunity and I'm going to take it. Because whoever it is that has been withdrawn hasn't taken any action. They're not coming forth. They're not coming to the rescue. Therefore, it is time for me to complete this stage and go after my abundance, happiness, contentment, There's a lot of abundance coming in because somebody completes a cycle. There's a completion here. Headed towards a lot of abundance, security, stability. A new security, a new. It's like you're receiving some sort of gift for moving on. Here we have a nine of pentacles. Here we have one. So these are, this is abundance. Nine, this would be, okay, this is true abundance. This is a gift. This is This would be the ace of pentacles, okay? A gift. You will have a new opportunity after you move on, and it's like the time is now. It's like you you face your independence because the Nine of Pentacles is independence. You face your independence. You deal with it. You complete the cycle with whoever this person is that was emotionally closed off. It was a karmic tie. You complete that. You complete that cycle, and, and you go. You you work on your independence. For those of you that are have met this spot of of independent abundance, you know, grateful, happy. I'm I'm thrilled. You know, the, look at the harvest. I mean, look at it. Everything is bountiful. So when you reach that point of complete ease, you know, you receive. So I feel like somebody has probably left or they are leaving a situation and headed towards abundance and a golden opportunity. You are being given something for, for allowing yourself to be abundant with who you are, you know, allowing your own inner abundance. So I feel like this reading is, you know, it's for all different kinds of people. But for some of you, some of you are just barely moving on. That's what I see. You're boarding that new ship. You're, 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 you've prepared for this moment. The moment has arrived for you to choose, to make the choice. You have to choose at this point. This is the decision. It is. This is the decision. You make the choice. Which one do you want? I think you're, you're dropping this one. You're, you're taking this opportunity. And now there's really a new opportunity for love. It's love and abundance. Because you get on. You get on the boat. You get on the boat and head to a new destination. Justice is being served because you took action. You did what was right for you. You defended yourself and turned your back on a situation that was toxic. So I feel for some, that's for some of you. Some of you are just turning your back. Some of you already have. Then we go then we go to the nine of pentacles, which leads to the ten of pentacles, and then you get an, a new offer. A reward. That's your justice. So then we have the people that have already reached the point of happy, happy singlehood, happy abundance. It's like I am I've done my work. I have done my work. For those of you that have done your work and you feel abundant with who you are, 
you've, you've got your shit together, there's a new opportunity here. Something that you have manifested with your positive actions. So for those of you that have gotten to this nine of pentacles, where you are happy with your life, again, being single, there is a new opportunity here, especially with this one. This 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 is the Ace of Pentacles right here, and then this Four of Cups reverse. There's an opportunity for new love and stability. It's a gift. It absolutely is a gift. And it's because you make the choice to put to put this one down. Now we have a water sign, we have an air sign, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, both of these are reversed. Both of these individuals, it doesn't matter what sign they are. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius over here. Um, who, both of these individuals in the reversed, this one's untrustworthy and an energy thief. This one is detached and withdrawn and cannot communicate. This one communicates without thinking. Okay, this one just says whatever comes out of his mouth without thinking, doesn't care who the hell he hurts. This one right here just don't talk at all. That's his way of blackmailing you. I will not talk to you. That's my way of hurting you. So I feel as though both of these energies are being released. Somebody is moving away from these or this individual. Because they don't want to miss any more opportunities with the Four of Cups. I'm not going to lose opportunities waiting for you to come around. I'm going to stop playing games with you. If you're not going to take action, neither am I. I'm headed in a new direction. And that's when justice is served. When you make it final. When you finally get on the boat and sail away. There's a new opportunity coming and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance and stability and happiness. Now, you have to be careful. Okay, you have to be careful. We have the Seven of Swords. Now this is a, this is interesting because we now and you we usually don't see two people. I mean I don't know if this is a woman and this is the man, or if this is a child. But this is, he's got five. There's one on the ground. And then she's, or he, this is like, I think this is a woman. Has got one. Be careful who you get engaged with. Whoever this person is, let them go. Let them take their struggles. Let them take their power. Let them take their, their own hurt. Let them take their, their lies with them. Let them go. Let them go. You've still got power. You've still got some of your own power. This guy has no integrity. He doesn't. He can't even look up. He knows what he's doing is wrong. He does. But he's doing it anyway. Don't chase him. Let him go. He was a liar and a cheat. Take what's left and walk away. So I feel like today, 
or remember I said the timing is fluid. The timing is fluid. Something that you have been preparing to do is about to come to fruition. I think that you have been waiting for the moment for things to get better, for something to manifest, for something new. You've been waiting for the moment to walk away from something. You've been waiting for the moment to actually make a choice, to make a decision. You've been getting prepared to surrender. And the time is now. I feel as though happiness is right around the corner. If you do not chase this individual, that cheated you. If you chase this individual that cheated you, you are asking to get hurt. Be careful. If a man or a woman is not communicating with you, I'm going to say it again. If they are not fighting for you, if they are not in your life, if they are with another person, They obviously have feelings for that other person. Or they wouldn't be there. Self-respect right here. Find your self-respect and your confidence to head out of this situation towards victory and success. If a person is with another person, they do not love you. And I know that that hurts. But it's the truth. And it's time for you to move on. The devil brings lies. Anything the devil brings into your life is a lie. It's time to move on because you deserve happiness and there's an opportunity for love and security if you can do the right thing for yourself. This is about decisions, making something final. Finally, getting on that boat leads to a new opportunity. What are you waiting for? So I feel as though somebody is headed towards happiness if they don't chase the thief. Don't chase the one that left you. Don't chase the one that won't communicate. Don't chase the one that loves another person. If they are with the other person, they love the other person. Look at that shit. Let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. It's time. 
Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And I said it with this card earlier. And it's now gone. Let him go. Move on. Please. Please. Let, let this past person go. They are detached. They are with another person. Anybody that loves you is not with another person. Dating, living, texting. When they love you, you're it. 